If you're doing things like project-based learning, you're doing your PBLs, you're doing your design challenges, you're doing your units where you've got high levels of engagement, kids are problem solving, they're doing their gaming, they're doing their blended learning where they're working through the programs, where they're doing the simulations, where they're making up, they're singing their song about the whales. <laughs> they're telling you what their game was or their garage band to let you know how they learned. All those engagement, yes. Some ways to increase student agency, but there are more. What are they? I'm so glad you asked. We are going to do a little investigation in 20 minutes. And what we don't get done, we'll put a pin in it. We'll come back tomorrow morning, dig a little more, and then you're gonna go to your second group choice. I want us to look at the tree of personalized learning, classroom strategies, and we're about to go after the low hanging fruit, or if you prefer, the shiny objects. I don't care which one works for you, but one or the other. Meaning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us started with the quick wins. We're not gonna build out a system of standards-based grading K-12 today or tomorrow. I gotta buckle up and eat my Wheaties for that one, right? We'll get there. But today, tomorrow, what I wanna do is to look at beyond the personalized learner profile that we have created in variations as a tool to help kids understand themselves so I can make choices about my learning. What else could I be doing in my classroom? What else, Robin, could I have, and Brenda and Heather and Shelly, could I have Lynette and Karen, Mike and Michelle, could I have ready to go when school opens? Because I'm gonna set my classroom up anyway, and I'm gonna have procedures and policies anyway, and we're gonna have ways that we form groups and I move kids from station to station anyway. So why don't I plan those with the lens of putting kids at the center? Easy win.